Bishop is brought in by the X-Force and Cable stuck in the future. What's to come? Find out in Cable number seven. Hey Zappers, welcome back to Shazap.com, your number one online video source for comic book news and reviews. I'm Devin Curry and on this edition of Shazap, we're taking a look at Cable number seven. Now this is the first I've read of this title and I got it because it was a really light week and actually I saw X-Force on the cover, that was it. The quick review of it is that Cable has been on the run through the time stream for about two years now with the first mutant child born after the House of M saga. Now Bishop, the X-Man's one-time ally, ally from the future, has come back to kill the child. Now this was a pretty good book. If you're interested you know, to get into it, this is a good time to do it because there's not a lot going on and the recap gets you set up. It seems to be the beginning of a story and the story is not far enough advanced yet that you can't get caught up. Now some aspects of the story are a little trite, like the hard-hearted tough guy soldier who is softened by the young girl that he's charged to protect, and the one-time hero who believes he's doing what is necessary for the greater good despite that no one will believe him. However, there is a reason these universal tales are trite and continue to be told, and if they're done well, they really speak to people and make for a good read. Now for my first impression, this one is done well and should continue to be. There's a new story starting in the future with Cable, and I hope that it is related to Bishop and the past, and that we're going to get to see some of this kung fu type story where the retired soldier is forced to defend his new home. We'll see. Thanks for tuning in to Shazap.com. I'm Devin Curry. You can blog on the homepage and let me know what you think is coming up for this story. And you can follow me at Twitter.com slash Devin Curry. Thanks again and we'll see you next time.